Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, Sampler B series of I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then folks. Yeah, let's do better than that. I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Didn't I just review this one? No, no, I didn't, but I reviewed something similar. But anyway, we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it just so happens to be my boom, my dope shirt. What with the lead singer, Edsel Dope, on the front. Uh, yes, indeed, folks. If you are unfamiliar, uh, I mean, and I've worn, you know, some of my other dope shirts in the past, as well as this one. Dope is a band that's been around since the, <coughs> like, the early, the mid-90s or so. Started out in New York City. Eventually, they made their home in Chicago and the Illinois area for quite a while. Uh, not anymore. They, they, you know, and they, yeah, at this point, the lead singer is pretty much the only guy who's like consistently in the band but they've been a really awesome creative force in the kind of alternative new metal scene for you know like i said for decades now i've been a big fan ever since i got into their stuff in high school i just think they're super fucking badass so much so i've seen them perform live a bunch of times over the years and i was actually fortunate enough just a few days ago uh they were on tour with static x and seven dust Loved them. All the bands were fantastic. So much so, I actually got videos of all their performances. Those videos were uploaded to my channel as well, because aside from doing food stuff, I also post music stuff too. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? Why is it something similar to a thing that I just reviewed? Well, that's because I went back out to, boom, Buffalo Wild Wings, and I got a couple of their brand new flavors, or at least returning flavors, one of which was the honey garlic, which I just got through reviewing, and the other is the honey sriracha, because honey in 2024 go together like honey in 2024. We're just going to go with that. But anyway, let's take a look at it. Let's get a thing for the thing. Let's get a thing for the thing. Look at it. Look at it. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, those look okay. Actually, you know what here? So that I can help differentiate the... Uh, the, the the two uh, thumbnails a little bit better. Let's get a thing for the thing. Let me get a thing for the thing. Ha 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 So yeah, man. Um, I've reviewed quite a few things from Buffalo Wild Wings at this point. Uh, I've started making use of their one of their deals. So on Thursdays they have a deal where it is buy one get one free on their boneless wings. That's been a perfect opportunity for me to go over there and try out a bunch of their flavors. On Tuesday, they also have the same deal, but for bone-in wings. Usually, I just do it on Thursdays. I'm more of a boneless wing person. And on top of that, Thursday's a little bit better for me in terms of, you know, it's a little bit closer to payday, so. But anyway, let's try some honey sriracha wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. I've had honey sriracha stuff. Hell, I reviewed, uh, what was it? Heinz. They went over there. They had honey sriracha. They were, like, way ahead of this. Go watch that review. I reviewed that. Yeah, you can taste the sriracha. Sriracha has such a cool flavor, man. There's, like... It's not surprising it's been so fucking successful. Now, thing is, though, I do have to wonder, is it actual proper sriracha sauce? Or is it a non-brand or something they just came up with? But... Regardless, it's identifiable as a sriracha sauce. It's not just any old hot sauce. I like these. These are good. Yeah, it's got that sweet heat thing. I love sweet heat, man. I love, if you watch my channel, you know I love contrasting flavors. I just, it gives it dimension, gives it a little complexity, and then on top of that, you know, you just, when you get that, when you get the proper combination of flavors, it just elevates everything. I like these a whole bunch. Um, and I will just mention the chicken itself very briefly. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings chicken is fine. Actually, I will say the this and the honey one 
uh, the honey garlic. Maybe a little bit better quality than I'm used to from uh, from Buffalo Wild Wings. But I would say, in general, Buffalo Wild Wings are like a solid B- minus as far as like their chicken consistency goes. It's perfectly fine. It's not going to taste bad or anything, but it's not going to be like the best chicken you've ever had. But their sauces are really what you're there for. And in this instance, I personally think that the, uh, the honey sriracha is very, very good. It's definitely, it has, it's a much different, like, texture and overall than the, uh, the honey garlic. The honey garlic was more honey-based, whereas this is more sriracha-based, so. You immediately get that hit of the sriracha flavor. Just that nice peppery flavor. That's so good, man. Both of these flavors have been really good. It's just, yeah, that nice sriracha flavor would just sort of, it's not like a, a hugely definitive sweetness. It's more pervasive, and it just kind of takes the edge off of the sriracha a little bit, and it gives it, like I said, just a little contrast, you know, something to kind of make you appreciate it a little bit more. Then, at the end, once the honey is kind of dialed back, that's when you get the heat from the sriracha. It's not super spicy, but... There is definitely a noticeable heat. I mean, it warms up your mouth pretty nicely. Um, you know, and if you're familiar with sriracha, which I think most people are, but it's not a super spicy hot sauce. It's more about the flavor than the heat, but you're definitely still getting some heat there, too. I think these are fantastic, man. Between, like I said, man, between these and the, uh, the honey garlic, I think these are two of the best flavors I've had from Buffalo Wild Wings. Because, for me, they are very hit or miss when it comes to their flavors. Like, some of them I think are really good. Some of them not so much so. These two, though, they fucking nailed it. Um, now all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Absolutely and absolutely. I think between the two, the honey garlic and the honey sriracha... I'm trying to think which is my favorite. I mean, I'll say this. I think overall I like the honey sriracha a little bit more just because I do like sriracha. I do like that heat and everything. So I think that that might kind of give it to that a little bit more. But the honey garlic is more unique. Like honey sriracha, again, it's been done. It's been done really well here, but I do think the honey garlic, I have never had anything quite like that. Yeah, I, th I think the honey garlic is going to get my win, because just because, again, the honey sriracha is... You know, but both are really good. I would definitely get either of these again. Um, they're just super tasty. If I'm recommending them, I think absolutely. In fact, I think these, they're both more and less easy for me to recommend than the honey garlic. Because I think that with these specifically you're probably already going to have a good idea of what they're like going into it because sriracha is such a pervasive thing. I think if you're already looking at it and thinking, mm, that ta that looks like it's going to be good, you're, you're in. Conversely, I think if you're somebody who you're, you know, you're not into sriracha, maybe you're not into heat, then you're already out. You know, they, you know, I don't think this is going to change that for you. But again, I think both flavors genuinely kick some serious ass. Like, Good on Buffalo Wild Wings. I think that, again, just, you know, some of them, eh, But these, both of them, I think, are really good. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Thank you, rest of your week. Mind you, the rest of your month. Spend this rest of your year. Folks, go over there and have yourselves a truly sriracha-tastic rest of your life. Because, man, sriracha is just wonderful. Isn't it? It's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's not the only hot sauce I go to personally, you know, I've, a number of them that I like to go to, but man, sriracha is just, it's always quality. Follow two things. <clears throat> Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you got to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. <clears throat> folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, and when we're in those situations, it's important we go over there when, whenever capable. You know, it's not always possible. <sighs> Take a step back. 
try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, maybe you are the original honey sriracha person, okay? Maybe even before Heinz, before that whole thing, maybe you were mixing those things together. Maybe somebody from Heinz or some other company went over there. They were, you know, watching you do your thing. They went over there. They took your notes and all that stuff. And now you need to go on an epic tale for revenge for them going over there and having stolen your awesome idea. So you go over there and you get like a whole little cadre of, you know, of, uh, unique misfits characters to go over there and, you know, it's a whole epic quest like D&D style, but, you know, in modern settings and, you know, it'll be fine. The police totally won't be called. Um, but you're going to go over there and you're going to fight your way through and you're just, you know, at the end there's going to be an end boss thing. It's going to turn into a Dragon Final Fantasy style. You got this. I believe in you. Trust me. Anyway, bye!